Welcome back to Conversations with Archbishop Kurtz. And I am very pleased to say we have a wonderful guest uh, with us for this segment. Uh, Mike Ford, thank you so much for being here. Uh, let me tell our viewing audience a little bit about you. you, you obviously, you, you're uh, the general manager of Our Lady's Rosary Makers, and that's, that's what correct. we'll be talking about today. Mike, uh, uh, you belong to St. Raphael Church. You yes. and your wife have two children and I think seven grandchildren? Yes, we do. That's wonderful. Well, uh, we're really happy to, to welcome you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about uh, how long you've been involved with Our Lady's Rosary Makers and also uh, maybe a little bit about the history of uh, this great gift in Louisville. I first became involved about 20 years ago as a board member and then became general manager 16 years ago. Um, Our Lady's Rosary Makers is a 65-year-old organization founded here in Louisville. Um, one man, Brother Selvin Mattingly, was a Varian brother, taught at St. X High School, wow. had a talent for making rosaries, and uh, he taught people to make rosaries on the premise. They would make them and distribute them freely to missionaries. And we still exist today on Poplar Level Road with rosary makers around the country, around the world, having made over 200 million rosaries for missionaries. No, wait, let's slow that down. <laughs> 200, 200 million. million rosaries. Just think of the people whose, whose lives have touched, whose faith is enriched, uh, being drawn to our Blessed Mother as she draws all of us to her son, Jesus. Wow. Uh, this is the month, uh, October is that month for the uh, Holy Rosary. So what a great time for us to be talking about this. And yes, and the fact that the rosary is a daily thing, actually, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right. That's exactly right. For you mean year-round. Year round, that's exactly right. That's that's uh, what beautiful. How beautiful too to to pray the rosary, uh, to pray the mysteries of the rosary, and then with Saint John Paul II giving us that beautiful gift of the fourth uh, mysteries, the luminous mysteries of the rosary. That that's been a wonderful gift. So it's been 65 years. I'll do the math. Is it? it was it 1949 or 1950? 1949. Wow, that that's wonderful. And and the whole time. Uh, those who are volunteering to be involved, uh, the rosaries are being made here in Louisville, or aren't some people also getting the materials and making them off grounds? Actually, most of it is. What yeah. we do at Rosary Makers is we provide the means and administer the activities of Rosary Makers. We uh, provide mission supplies from the outset of the organization, which are sold at cost, basically and there have always been catalog mail order sales that uh, for good or gift rosary items which underwrite the, the mission aspect of the business. The business. So, so people who are participating as volunteers, they could be in, in Wisconsin or Texas or California or Pennsylvania right here in or Kentucky. Australia or Singapore. Or R really, so, so uh, there's a, a worldwide involvement not only of, uh, of, of having the rosaries being given to people in the missions, but but also people themselves who are, are making the rosaries. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. So tell us a little bit about today. Uh, roughly, you mentioned 200 million people have benefited by having a rosary put in their hands so that they might pray uh, to God through our Blessed Mother, through her intercession. Um, what, what kind of things are happening now? Uh, over the course of the last two years, we've... Um We've been on a bit of a campaign to advertise oh, and promote. Yeah, but, you know we, what we'll do? We'll, we we'll make this, sure this is seen. We, uh, we sent this poster out to parishes around the country within the last year, and we've followed it up here in the last two weeks with uh, with this brochure and and pamphlet containing information about rosary makers, hoping to reignite rosary making yeah. uh, while it's still significant at six and a half million rosaries a year. Wow. It'd be nice if it went is, to eight or ten how, million. Is that how many are made each year? Six and a half million? For the last I love this quote. The years. Holy Rosary is a powerful weapon. Use it with confidence and you'll be amazed at the results. Saint uh, Jose Maria Escriva. Six and a half million a year. Yeah, let's go for eight million. That would be a, a wonderful or thing. Or ten. Or ten, exactly. So the outreach is twofold. The outreach is, is reaching out, giving people an opportunity to make rosaries. And I know, for example, people who who uh, will write or, as they say, paint icons, it's an act of prayer. 
And so I'd imagine that's the case with you. Yes, indeed. It, uh, and it's a work of art, which that's another thing we're in the midst of going to be doing here in the very near future is, is uh, a uh, Roger Mega who goes back to the days of Brother Sylvan, mm -hmm. wants to propose people uh, get involved in wire, ro wire rosary making, chain rosary making, which is bro Brother taught people how to do, oh, out of beads, good. wire, pliers. Very good. Uh, so it really is, and so it's not doesn't become a lost art. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's and then also the rosaries uh, are put in the hands of people uh, through the new evangelization. And are these through primarily through missionaries who who distributes the rosaries? The newsletter goes out with the names of forty-five to eighty missionary names from countries in Africa to India to to um, even United States addresses. Mm -hmm. You know this, but our viewing audience may not. The prayers of the rosary, the, the Hail Mary, of course, is scripturally based from the first chapter according to St. Luke. Of course, the Our Father is the Lord's Prayer given to us by Jesus himself. And then to say the creed, the I believe, uh, allows us to, uh, to be joined to the apostles in, in our faith. So as people are praying and meditating upon the mysteries, they have a chance really to enter in to the life of the church, to the life of Christ through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Uh, what a great gift it is. If there's one thing you'd like to leave our uh, viewing audience with, one we've talked about so many things, what would be that one thing you want us all to remember? Just to pray the rosary daily like the to Blessed pray. Mother asks us. Uh, consider being involved as a rosary maker and realize the benefit you can do in your parish, your parish school, your community, or serve the missions of the world. Yeah. Um, you know what I picture, Mike? I picture a parent teaching uh, their children how to pray the rosary. And what a great image. I mean, it's for all ages, but especially it's so tangible that you can hold on to the rosary and with each bead pray a prayer to God. Uh, record, Mike, thank you. Thank record. you for your chance uh, to, to really speak to us about something that many people don't know about Our Lady's Rosary Makers. And for more information, uh, we're going to put on the screen your address, and uh, I hope a, a lot of people will come, and we'll move from uh, six and a half million a year to eight million a year. Thank you so much. Thank you, Archbishop. Yeah, and thank you for being part of this uh, segment of, of uh, Conversations with Archbishop Kurtz.